Good morning guys and welcome to the fifth episode in the Gibraltar Beach Review 2023 and today we are here at Roja Bay and we're going to take a look at what Roja Bay has to offer so come join me. Well good morning guys it's Friday the 26th of May just show you the bus stop that you need to get off at when you're coming down to Roja Bay. Not only that, when you come into most beaches, or like Camp Bay, Little Bay, you want to get off of that bus stop as well. So yeah, let me show you the quick way round. We sped this bit up. Today's very, very overcast and cloudy, but it's not cold. It's still a nice 22 degrees and it's still pretty early in the morning. Just showing you how low that cloud is. You can't even see the top of the rock. Incredible place. So when I go out and do these uh, beach reviews, I always try and show the sunshine. But with the limited amount of time I have off, I just didn't have the time to show you this part in the sun. But anyway, who knows? You might come here and it might be cloudy anyway. It might be raining. So, you know... At least we're giving you a realistic, uh, realistic view. But anyway, we're almost there. It's a little bit of a walk, so I've sped up this bit. Takes about six minutes, I'd say. And we're heading off to Roja Bay. Now, this is not a conventional beach, as you're going to find out. So here we are now. You can see the fortress up there. Right in front of the vets here. So here we are, and as you can see, this is not a public beach, and therefore the normal beach facilities are not provided. So there's no changing room, there's no shower, there's cruise ship coming in to dock into Gibraltar. Looks like P&O, but uh, if you know otherwise, let me know. Some lovely rock pools, now we're on the bay anyone who likes their birds you can see a little cormorant there just sitting off the rocks fishing bird famous in china they put elastic bands around their neck and the chinese put them in the river and they catch the fish yeah <laughs> pointless bit of uh, information there so we can see all the way across to morocco today as it's the morning it's not so hot or hazy so the view's very clear we pan it out, that's the entrance to the Straits of Gibraltar and you can see Spain there. So you can see the difference between Spain and Africa and of course Gibraltar and Africa. And this is the Bay of Alcaceras. So we've left the Mediterranean side, we won't be going there anymore in the beach reviews. See the dolphin there, just passing, passing the coast. You've got a beautiful view of Africa there in the background. I think it's about 12 kilometres from Gibraltar to the closest point. So now let's have a look. I wouldn't expect any sand. If you're coming down here to sunbathe and you're looking for sand, you're looking for bars, this isn't the place. This place is more of a dive site. It's supposed to be a renowned dive site actually, full of marine wildlife here. And you can see when we approach how to get in. They've got ladders going in. And it's quite easy to dive. I've never personally dived myself. I've been snorkeling. I've been spearfishing. But I found that quite difficult. And all the <laughs> salt water got into the snorkel. And well, I panicked a little bit. And yeah, I didn't really uh, have a good time with that one. But yeah, as we can see, although the full sun is not out, you can see the water is still very, very clear here. I mean, at this point, the sun is behind me, but towards the city of Gibraltar, where we're looking now, towards the town, there's a massive cloud just hanging over it. It doesn't seem to be shifting. But yeah, as you can see, very clear waters. I mean, it's still a lovely day. I mean, t 
22 degrees in the morning. What is this? About 10 o'clock in the morning now. And I love these houses that overlook the bay. These are actually really, really nice. I expect they're really, really expensive. Property is here in Gibraltar. So expensive. Even renting like me. Oh, it's astronomical. Eats most of my wages every single month. So you can see the the structures, the paths, they're not really well maintained. They're all cracked, there's holes. And to get down to the beach you literally had to walk in yeah, dog piss and yeah, it was just uh I think people come here to walk their dogs. It's a lovely open space to do that, but yeah, when I first arrived there was a load of dogs running after me and I was a bit like, Well, you know, so obviously we cut that out, we don't we don't wanna see me running away from a load of dogs or maybe we do. Um I'll keep that footage uh, behind anyway. Tell me if you want to see me getting chased by dogs. But yeah, as the light's coming over the bay, you can just see the reflection of the sea. You can start seeing those colours, the turquoise, the silhouettes of the rocks. Beautiful flats, as I said here. Absolutely lovely. Lovely place. Now, Roja Bay does have a very, very, very tiny beach. There it is. You'd have to swim to get there, or, yeah. I mean, yeah. This is the first time, actually, I'm ever coming down to Roja Bay and having a proper look, and uh, I must say, well, we've got to be honest, beach review, now look at that, that's clarity in the water. That's absolutely beautiful. I've got to say, though, no facilities. There's absolutely nothing here and unless you're banging to your diving then yeah this is the place you know what I mean and I can imagine not a lot of many people that come for the beach come down here do you know what I mean so yeah and as I can say we're gonna hazard it over the rocks not my favorite thing but yeah it's interesting to see there's rock pools here at Rosier Bay actually so when you're in that last week before payday, you can go and scavenge for your own food. Yellow-headed gull, just where it was there, I was filming. Now, this freaks me out. I see two of these boats coming towards me. I'm the only person on the bay. I think I'm about to get chucked to the floor. And then I see they're actually the Marines, probably doing exercises around the rock. They're quite friendly, smiling. Yeah, it didn't disturb me. Probably just having a look at me. And it's very funny. Just a couple of hours later, the customs, and I think one of these boats, found nine million quid's worth of uh, cannabis. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess they, uh, they've they got right suspicion to come and check people out if you're floating about at strange times in the morning when it's not even a sunny day. Probably just checking me out, making sure I'm not waiting for a delivery. But yeah, you can see them absolutely speeding off there. Again, Africa in the distance. That dolphin boat had stopped. There were, there were a couple of dolphins, you could see them from the shore, but my phone camera couldn't pick them up. But that's probably a messed up there watching trip now. Those boats speeding past. So let's talk about parking. And this is our only parking space. Yeah. So what do we think about Rosia Bay? Well, if you're not a diver, you don't like nature, and you don't like looking through rock pools, then this place is probably worth a swerve. There's no bar, there's not a toilet, no changing. If you drowned, you're on your own. But if you like the three that I mentioned, this is probably one of the hottest places for you. And as I know, Rosia Bay is one of Gibraltar's hottest diving sites. But from me here at Rosia Bay, I'll see you on the next adventure.